Then by then, President of the United States, please save us, save us our families, save us our lives. We don't know what to do there. Please help us, please help our families. We don't know, we are in danger. It is many days that we are outside the HKIA and we didn't get access. What should we do? Please save us. The Taliban have vowed that women will have rights within the bounds of Islamic law, or Sharia law, but it's not clear what do we interpret by that statement. In the past when the Taliban ruled, they imposed strict restriction, barring women from going out without a male guardian, eliminating schooling of works, publicly flogging people who violated the group's morality code. Sharia is based on the Quran, stories of the Prophet Muhammad's life and the rulings of religious scholars, forming the moral and legal framework of Islam. The Quran details a path to a moral life, but not a specific set of laws. One interpretation of Sharia could afford women extensive rights, while another could leave women with few. When the Taliban say they are instituting Sharia law, that does not mean they are doing so in ways that Islamic scholars or other Islamic authorities would agree with. Experts have been scanning Taliban leaders' recent behavior for clues, as to whether their treatment of women will change. When a senior Taliban official gave an interview to a female television journalist in Kabul this week, it was part of a broader campaign by the group to present a more moderate face to the world and within Afghanistan, 